Hi, I'm Jeff from Sussex Installations. Today's video is about our new product, very important product if you're a Ford Custom owner, Ford Transit Custom. This is our internal and external shield set. So the Ford Custom, we saw lots of problems with the driver's door barrel, unlocking the back of the van and people twisting the driver's door barrel. Um, Ford fixed that with a software update, but now that we saw the problem migrate to holes in the bodywork. So it started, we saw side load door attacks, holes through the side load door, people popping open the side load doors directly by making a hole. And then in the last sort of few months, we've seen the problem also with the back door. So people popping a hole in the back of the van, unlocking the van or popping the door open, even if it had the factory deadlock in on and open up your van. So it's really important. Internal shielding is really, really important for your Ford Transit uh, Custom, just to secure the most vulnerable parts within inside the door. This latch mechanism that is the factory locking mechanism that holds the door closed. Your central locking is all enclosed in that point. You double lock your remote control. You've got like your factory dead locking but it does, does seem that there are weak points in it and those weak points need to be covered. So if people are accessing the latch, popping your door open, you should protect those vulnerable parts. We have an internal and external shield set for this van. The internal shield is really, really important. And we're now including this as part of our gold packages. So we've included the um, internal shield for the silo door as part of the gold package, the internal shield for the barn door as part of the gold package because they really, really are important. You have the option as well to have the external shield fitted at the same time and so you can cover up if there's any damage being made on your van like in this one that's got a hole in the door. If we can use that external shield to cover up that damage or you might not have any damage on your van yet and just feel like let's just put the external shield on there straight away so people know that you've got protection over your latch mechanism. I'll show you some, uh, I'll show you this fitted, I'll show you where this goes inside the door, but really, really important. If somebody pokes a hole through the back of the van there, you don't want them getting in at your latch mechanism. You want to have a shield barrier in the way of them getting into that van and popping your door open. I mean, well, I hear people say, well, I've got deadlock, so why do I need the shield in? But the thing is, most of these, would get stopped by deadlocks. If you've got a good set of deadlocks, particularly like a hook uh, deadlock, but we don't want uh, we don't want the thieves to even try the deadlocks because the damage they can make in sort of levering open the door to have a go at the door, you know, it's um, it's a big hassle to sort of repair. You know, if someone has made this hole in your door here and they get stopped by a shield, and then we can fit a, a repair shield over the top to sort of repair your van. That's um, that, you know, that's not too much of a hassle of a repair. It's not too expensive for you to get the van repaired. It doesn't take too long to, you know, to have the van repaired. It's not like your van being off the road for a long time. But if they go up and they start to bend up like all your door and things here by sort of attacking and testing your deadlocks, like that's a lot more of a difficult repair job. So we'd much rather that they don't get to test the deadlocks. So basically, if we can address the weak point first as the first layer of security, then we do add the additional layer of deadlocks um, if they do get past the first layer of security. And then we also um, recommend cargo area alarm detection. So here we are, all finished now. We've got the internal shield fitted inside the barn door of this van. External shield covering up that big hole that was made there next to the handle. The external shield giving some protection towards the internal parts, but also our internal shield giving good protection to that internal um, latch mechanism. So I would suggest get your internal shield fitted or your external shield fitted. Additional security options like we've also done um, external shield on the side load door. We've done our internal shield on the side load door because that seems to be a really popular attack method for these customs also. The custom internal protection. We've also fitted our PIR sensor which will detect any movement if someone was to get into this van by um, a heavy high level destruction method like if they were going to um, climb in make a hole through the roof or pull the side load door down we also put a high position switch on the top of the side load door here in case there was to start to fold the side load door down also fitted our peel and steel bracket which just locks in behind the bracket 
which we fitted on the bulkhead. So if you've got a four custom, I would suggest get your internal shield in and look at your other security options for the van that we can offer you. Go to our website, it's sussexinstallations.co.uk. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video if you found it useful and um, we look forward to, to helping out with your van security.